Hey guys, it's Coffee, and I know it's been a couple of days since I've uploaded. I'm sorry, I just needed to take a little personal break. I hope you can forgive me. And um, I should be back tomorrow, depending on when this video goes up. I should be getting back to two uploads a day. Um, so I just needed a couple of days, and I'm, everything's good now. And I'm back, I'm making videos, and I'm really excited because today we are going to be cheating a little bit in the Hunter Baby Challenge. But I will explain to you why as we progress. So um, we are here. Juliet's, um, Juliet, what are you doing? She's just having a little freak out. She fine. She fine. Okay. So we have Alice Huntley here right now. And Alice, she is only a B student. She's not an A student, but she is. Wait, let me make sure that I'm not lying to you because I might be lying to you. How old are you? You're a teen. Okay. Alice is technically not supposed to age up, but I am going to age her up. And here is why. Because, um, and I'm going to feel bad if I'm so wrong on this, but Juliet, dear, sweet, sweet Juliet, where, um, no, no, not that. Oh my goodness. Where? No. What am I looking for right now? No. Oh, here we go. Okay. Dear sweet Juliet. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Um, guys, I'm so confused right now. Last time we played this game, Juliet was in her sparkly years. That's what I call them, or it's bubbly years, whatever. Her bar looked like Marcos's bar. And today it doesn't. That's really weird. Okay, never mind. We're not going to be cheating. Um, we are going to play the game like normal and hope for the best. Also, she super didn't go to school, and that makes me feel real bad. Can you go to school now for the last, like, two hours? <laughs> I was trying to work on her skill so that I could age her up into an adult, and this was what I was going to do. I was going to age her up into an adult. Because I was afraid that Marcos and Juliet would both die. And I didn't know what would happen to all of the kids if I had them in a house without parents or adults. So that was the original plan. I know in The Sims 3 and I think in The Sims 2, if the parents died and there were no adults that could be guardian in the house, um, the kids, a lot of times, you would just like lose them. So... I just wanted to make sure that that didn't happen to our amazing, beautiful Emily. Um, also, one of you guys said in the comment section for Emily that um, she's an A student. Why aren't you aging her up? Um, I've explained this a couple of times, but maybe not in the beginning of an episode or maybe somebody missed it. But um, Emily, we're not going to age up immediately. We're actually going to finish the artistic prodigy thing first first and then age her up. So um, I'm going to be doing this first. And then it, that's like what she has to do to age up. And that is no specific rule for the Hunter Baby Challenge. I made that rule up. I feel like as the matriarch, it should be a little bit harder for the next matriarch to progress. So um, let me go back to Emily really quick and take a look at this. So we're on the last one. Um, the last... No, we're not on the last one. There's one more still. No, wait. Is there one more? There might be one more. I don't know. The Sim has dreams of succeeding in the arts. Okay, so we need to play instruments for a total of five hours. We need to draw all five picture types on the activity table. And we need to achieve level 10 in the creativity skill. Which we are only a level five. So we have a lot of things to do with Emily. Um, if Juliet gets... I'm really hoping Juliet doesn't get too close to her sparkly ears because oh, that would be bad oh look marcos is uh painting let's go see what he painted what did you paint oh marcos you're great guys marcos is gonna die like he's he's could die today like he, this is sad i'm sad uh what does he want to do with juliet woohoo with juliet be friendly with Juliet. So I'm actually going to let him fulfill his dream of woohoo. Wait, what's that? Okay, no, he wants to mold clay. We're not going to do that. We are going to come over here and we are going to ask Juliet to woohoo with us because I want to give him his dying wishes, you know? <laughs> and he wants to travel to the museum. Uh, we probably won't do that one. I don't want to leave the house. Uh, what's this one? 
He, and he wants to cook a meal, so maybe we'll do that too. Okay, I'm going to take a coffee sip. Guys, I have pumpkin-flavored coffee, and it gives <laughs> me life. Um, hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to join me for lunch at Chez Llama? Sorry, Maggie, but not today. We are spending some quality time with Marcos. And um, also, you guys, I need you to, under the hashtag Coffee's 100 Baby Challenge, um, please start creating husbands for Emily. I need a husband for her that she can meet and marry and make some children with, but obviously not all of her children. And I also need to start placing more men in the town. So if you guys could create some young adult men for me, that would be super awesome. Just use the hashtag Coffee's 100 Baby. And if you potentially want... I mean, you could have any of them be husbands or baby daddies. It doesn't really matter. And I will select from you guys. Okay. And I will put a bunch of them in my game as well because I need to. Very nice. Okay. So we did that. Uh, be friendly with Juliet. He wants to sell three paintings. Let's actually have him be friendly to Juliet really quick. I kind of want him to interact with her as much as he can. Um, so let's go friendly. Let's go ahead and brighten her day because that seems like a really nice gesture. <laughs> he really likes this molding clay. I'm just waiting for Emily to get home so I can... Um, start working with her. So we're just kind of, you know, bonding with Juliet and Marcos and doing what we can. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe he's going to die. I'm really sad. School's out for the day. It's filled with B students. Melody is one of them. Maybe she should try to distinguish herself more. Okay. Emily's turned from school. She's one of the top students at Langar Elementary. Keep up the good work. Alice is done with school for the day, but an A, B is not a bad grade. Um, and Levi also has a B. So... Okay, so they are home. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, Emily, you're so cute. I love her, even with her weird squinty eye right now. She's adorable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head upstairs. And I'm going to have Emily resume this people picture. Levi is extremely tired, so I'm going to have him take a little nap. Um, and it looks like Melody is really tense, probably from the grades. So... I'm going to have her go ahead and play Sims Forever. And Alice looks like she is in a great mood. She's a little hungry, but I'm actually going to go ahead and send her to do her homework first. Um, once Levi wakes up, I'll also have him do his homework and I will have her run hers as well. Um, and then I'm just going to work with Emily for a little bit. Uh, actually, probably for most of the episode, we'll be working with Emily because I'm really anxious to see what she's going to look like as a teenager. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So um, we also need to have her practice an instrument for five hours, which is probably what we'll do after she finishes her picture. Yes, Emily. Yes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and fast forward this until she finishes it. Okay. So now she's completed three of them, but we're actually going to have her go ahead and go downstairs and she is going to come and practice on the piano for the next five hours. Um, how is she doing? She is doing awesome. So we're going to have her do that. And then we're going to have her go ahead and do her homework because that is what we need currently. Um, that is what we need to achieve. So I'm going to fast forward. Let me actually look at skill. Yeah, this should also help us to work on the creativity skill you know having her learn to play the piano oh juliet girl oh they just took selfies how cute was that okay hmm you would think wait this oh it is okay you would think with her creativity skill being as high as it is that she would actually be better at the piano already but she's not kind of surprising okay so we're fast forwarding through this and we're literally just gonna let her do this for the next five hours um or three hours now um while she's doing this um i do want to mention to you guys i haven't really mentioned it but 
Uh, Die Now is going to be taking a little bit of a hiatus. I'm just really not enjoying the series. And I think I've said it to you guys even in episodes. I'm not having a good time playing it. Um, Die Now was definitely not my favorite um, pack that they've come out with. And it's also just really stressful. I think it's extremely hard to have really good quality um, commentary while playing it because I'm so focused on what I'm trying to do. And I don't know. It just... I just don't like, I'm just, and I'm not saying I'm not going to finish it or come back to it. I just need to take a break from it. <laughs> okay. I probably will let her go to the restroom first and then do her homework. She's almost been playing for five hours. So, uh, replace. It looks like she just finished that. So we're going to have her stop doing that. Come use the restroom and then we will have her do her homework. Um, and we're also going to have Juliet's come over here and we're going to have her serve chicken blah 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 blah. <laughs> um did these kids finish their homework? Do we know? Homework complete. Uh okay, I don't think the other two kids finished their homework. Let me see. So, do homework, please. And I want you to do your homework. Oh, you're doing your homework. Okay, you're fine. You are fine. She is not in a good mood. Why am I fast forwarding? What am I doing? Oh, no. Why are you eating tiramisu? I seriously hate that they do that. I wish somebody would design a mod that, like, if a sim is cooking on the lot, no one would go and eat. Whatever. Emily gets tiramisu for dinner. Oh, he's so tired. He couldn't even do his homework. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and send him to sleep. He's super tired. Um, no, you're not allowed to have tiramisu. Ugh, you already grabbed it. Well, you might as well eat it then. I really would prefer you to grab a serving of this. Um, and Marcos really should be doing the same. Oh my gosh, he's like still super out. Please stop napping. I want you to go upstairs and go to bed, love. Oh, was I on the wrong kid when I did that? She's super tired too, so... I guess she's sleeping in there. <laughs> oh, Juliet and uh, Melody seem to not be getting off well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have her put this away when she's done and I think I'm just gonna send everyone to start and get a good night's rest um, everyone seems to be really tired so I think that's gonna be the best policy for right now is just to send everyone to get some sleep uh, it just sounds like the best idea you know um, I'm gonna go ahead and have him come sleep in here and let's go back to Juliet actually and go ahead and speed through this a little bit I feel like we almost need to hire a maid, truthfully. This house is crazy messy right now. Okay, put that away and then go to sleep. Okay, and then I'll play a little bit into the day tomorrow when they wake up because I didn't really feel like this would be the end of an episode. Like it just, even though it's been, oh, someone's awake, it's Alice. Um, even though it's been some time, but I just, I'm going to go ahead and have her do that. And then I'm actually going to have her play Blick Block because she needs to get her video gaming skill up so she can be an adult. And I won't move Alice out right away just in case the parents die. Uh, you know, kind of like what I said earlier. I can't believe that she was in her bubble days though. I swear. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. 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 He's dying. Marcos is dying, you guys. I'm so sad. I'm like actually getting teary eyed. This is so sad. Oh, I know this is so dumb because they're just Sims, but. I was so attached to him. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really sad. 
Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that to happen in this episode. And Juliet's asleep. Juliet, you need to wake up, honey. Your husband just died. Oh, see what's happening. Oh, Juliet. Can she plead? Can she plead for him? Go plead for him. Plead, 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 plead. <sighs> Did he do it? Did he allow it? Marcos is truly gone after Juliet's ardent appeal fell on death's deaf ears. Oh, that was so sad. I'm so sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well death can you just take him already this is really sad and it's breaking my little heart oh gosh oh gosh oh Marcos <laughs> do we not get tombstones anymore guys if you plop them outside oh yeah you do okay I'm gonna put him outside because it just yeah, I'm going to put him outside in the garden area and... Oh, Juliet. No, honey. Honey. Mourning. The death of a loved one affects those closest to them. Sims can mourn at a tombstone to feel more at peace. And she's a widow. Oh, my gosh. An unmarried widow. Do you guys... Do you think that Juliet should get another husband? Like... Just to, like, live out her days with someone. I'm going to go have her mourn him. Oh, she was going to do it anyways. I'm going to go have her mourn him. And, oh, my gosh. You guys, I'm sorry. I know this is so lame, but I'm so... I'm gutted over this right now. Literally gutted. Oh. This is just the worst. Wow. Actually, guys, I, I think we're going to end the episode here. I'm just, like, so freaking sad. Um, Yeah, we're going to end the episode here. I apologize if it's a short episode. I don't actually know how long I've been recording. Um, Guys, this was just a wrench right in my freaking heart. Um, Anyways, you guys, thank you so very much for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to create those husbands or boyfriends, baby daddies, whatever. Um, and um, I will be seeing you guys again tomorrow for some more videos. And uh, please don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at CoffeeYT. This is Coffee signing off. Hey guys, it's Chloe and today I'm really excited because I'm doing something a little bit different. I still do not proclaim to be a makeup expert whatsoever. I just really love myself a good lippy. I'm really big into them. That's probably my favorite thing to purchase. I own more lipsticks than anything else in my makeup collection. Um, and I recently discovered these NYX lip suede. And also, I'm sorry if you can hear jingling. My cats are running around in here. Um, I uh, 